Hey, what's up everybody? This is Colby with Cast. Today I'm dusting off my vice. Had a lot of people recently say, geez, I didn't know you could tie flies. And the truth is, I can't really. But I am going to show you a few things that I do know. Today we're going to be tying a bait fish pattern. This is one of my favorites. It's a saltwater pattern. And uh, the techniques I'm going to show you go pretty good with pretty much any bait fish or uh, minnow pattern. Uh, this works really, really good. So uh, we're going to be doing some saltwater fishing here in the next little bit. So I thought we'd start with uh, kind of a traditional uh, bait fish pattern. We're tying uh, three Gamakatsu octopus today. And uh, I'll give you the details on the uh, materials as I go along. One of the things that's important for this particular uh, fly, or any big fly for that matter, is your thread. Um, we're using Semperfly Nano Silk. Um, really, really good, strong thread for tying. So, uh, critical uh, to use super strong thread. I'm going to tie this one kind of more after the uh, saltwater tarpon style. So, we're going to leave this a little bit longer uh, in the in the eye. But one of the things that I always like to do is get a really solid thread base down, especially on some of these bigger bigger bugs. Um, and then just a little bit of super glue to kind of lock that in nice and nice and tight. This is a really easy pattern to tie. Obviously there's a ton of different variations. <clears throat> so you can use your creativity to tie all different uh, patterns and bait fish and things. This is uh, this is done with uh, Ferrars Blend. Um, I like the UV stuff. Um, it's probably my favorite. We're gonna we're gonna tie this with a with a white and a, a with a gray top. So take you off a clump of Ferrars fiber about about like that. And I like to taper this so you have a kind of a pull some of the loose fibers out the end. And we're going to try and keep this fly about four, four and a half inches. And seems to be a pretty good uh, size for bait fish. So start by. Uh, wrapping the white in on the bottom lock that in good um, one of the tricks that I learned a while ago when working with uh, this stuff is cut it off at an angle and I'll show you what I mean by that so take your your clump that you previously tied in we're going to take this top the end piece that we tied in we're going to fold that over and just kind of just kind of gauge where you want that to end up so instead of just cutting it off this way we're going to lay this flat and we're going to cut it horizontally. I'll see if I can get in front of the camera so I can do that a little bit better, but we're gonna we're gonna take this right here and we're just kinda gonna work it like that. Hang on to that extra clump. Now we've got a tapered piece that we can fold over, wrap that back into the tail. and lock that down. Turn that over. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to take about the same clump of gray, UV gray for ours.
about like that. Again, we're going to pull out some of this so we get a nice taper on that. And we're going to repeat the process on the top. Okay, again, fold that over, trim that on an angle, lock that down. Depending on how big or how bulky of a pattern or a bait fish that you want, You can do this several times, but basically we're going to repeat the process again for the belly. Going to build this uh, head up just a hair. We're starting to take shape nicely. One of the things I like to do is get kind of a kind of a pseudo gill plate. Um, so take a little bit of red crystal flash. Tie that in there. And lock it down. That's pretty much it for this fly. Super easy to tie, whip finish. And that's it. Uh, last thing to do, take some fish skull living eyes. I really like these. Uh, these are earth. Um, I use the ice ones a lot too, but for this one we'll use the earth. Drop a super glue to secure. Make sure we got them straight. And there you go. That is a finished bait fish fly. You can see what that does by layering that Ferrars in there. You can see the profile it creates on the fly creates a really nice bait fish profile and when this gets wet and that fiber starts to blend through and smooth out really really imitates a bait fish nicely so I'll usually get to this point tie a bunch of production and then come back in and epoxy the head solid 
Um, but there you go. Super easy, super deadly bait fish pattern. Hope you guys enjoy.